Praise be Jesus Christ. We're back here at the Heaven Door Domestic Church series for a review of what we've been going through, some 12, some busy videos here. Uh, it might seem to some people, why do we need all this stuff, 12 videos, tandem articles, all these explanations for something like the Heaven Door? It's actually very simple. And I want to show you that this evening and also introduce the concept of or concept practice of the toolbox. The most important part of the heaven door, which you already know, is the heaven window. Here with us each and every video in the black Madonna picture, which is icon, which is our family tradition. That is the window to the heaven door. She opens up our vision of heaven and draws us into heaven with her son. Or actually, as we say in our prayers, to her son. So the window is what we also see heaven through. And the person with whom we have the relationship is the person who opens the door entirely to us to allow Christ to come in. We'll talk about a little bit about that in the next video. Next, and most significantly, the second most essential part of the, of the heaven door experience and spirituality is the sacred scripture. Sacred scripture, remember, is the tabernacle of the home. The place where we encounter, come in, meet, open up the book, turn these sacred pages, and encounter God. It's the tabernacle where God dwells. And wherever the Bible is open, that's why this is always open, it, God, Jesus, is inviting us to encounter him. So when we encounter Jesus, we come to know his word. Secondly, and this is not necessarily in any particular order, but secondly and very importantly is the holy water. Okay? Holy water we use is both for blessing, parental blessing, for protection from uh, evil forces and negativity, but also a reminder of the refreshment of our baptism. And uh, just a second here, as you'll see in a moment, holy water can be placed and kept in something as simple as a mustard bottle, nothing fancy. And here we have a pipe cleaner, sprinkler. In this case, it's a sprinkler. It's set aside. So you don't have to go and buy anything. But you just take and you sprinkle people at the table with something as small, or sometimes you know, pipe cleaner, bottle cleaner is a little bigger. Everything you need for the domestic church, for the heaven door, is already in your home. Holy water, reminder of our baptism, protection from evil forces, and also for us a blessing of our children and our home. Then next, the the one thing that opens us to a global experience of prayer are beads. Here, rosary beads, both. I use the red as a symbol of the Divine Mercy Chaplet and the blue for a rosary here. Now, you can place this or other type of rosaries, but what I'm showing you is the essentials need to be always available at your heaven door. The rosary, the beads which connect you Vertically to heaven, Our Lady pulling us up to heaven, and horizontally to each other, everyone who is praying in the whole world, and connecting themselves to heaven at the same time. Next to that, we have a little family. This is our little family edition, because in our tradition we bless eggs, along with other types of food. At Easter time, this is a sign of us for us of the resurrection. That's a family touch, adapted to your own purposes. And remember, we can't forget, particularly during the joyous seasons of Christmas and Easter, the bells, which purify the air, prepare us for prayer, call us, call us to joy, and sometimes even call us to table. So you have here the basic um, aspects. Oh, I guess I forgot one. And that is the praying candle. Now, this is a LED light, as I've been suggesting everybody have, a battery-operated light that turns on and off by itself at the same time each day. But the praying candle 
is a sign of presence, that someone is present here. And that presence becomes a light and a, onto our feet, the lamp onto our feet, which is God's sacred scripture. So all this is interacted and interconnected. However, we've talked about a toolbox every once in a while, but not showed you one. Well, I want to show you my toolbox here. It's this little small tote in which I keep all the other tools of, or sometimes even more, tools of the heaven door spirituality. Oh, we also forgot another one. One other basic here is our vase, and the vase in which we put seasonal flowers. Here you have uh, a floral depiction of some blessed palms, a part of also my own personal tradition, and some bachelor button summer flowers. Placing of the flower is honoring the person and entering into another level of the relationship with the person depicted here in your heaven window. We also covered, oh here you see, extra rosaries for when we have a group rosary. Uh, everybody's favorite could be placed there. Uh, another sample of a battery-operated praying candle. And you've seen uh, vases like this, rosebud vases. Uh, here's an extra one. And then we also, a couple of, day, a couple of weeks ago, talked about uh, Holy Smoke and placed here orange zest and uh, orange peels over the stove and roasted them. And a Holy Smoke calls us to prayer, creates an atmosphere, and in this case was a table call. Uh, incense of the three kings or other forms of incense may also be burned here. An old, used, as you see, pie pan. Here are your basics, which we talked about. We talked about the place, a permanent and prominent place in the home for the door, the center of the door being the window, which leads us into heaven, gives us a glimpse of, glimpse of heaven, and shows that there's somebody who wants to come in and, jo and pull us into heaven. We have the family tabernacle in the sacred scripture, God's word. The light onto our feet, which is the praying candle, lit at special times, especially for intercessory prayer and a sign of someone else's presence. The holy water, a reminder of our baptism and protection when we need an extra prayer and help. Okay? The prayer beads that connect us to heaven and to each other and allow us to meditate. The vase which allows us to present flowers in honor that relationship with the person who is depicted in your heaven window or persons. The bell which always calls us to joy and purifies the space. The holy smoke which calls us to the Lord's table or to prayer. These are the basics of heaven door spirituality. So it's very simple. And a pie plate you'll have at home. A jar for holy water. A bottle brush you'll have at home. Uh, a bell you'll find somewhere even if it be the jingle bells of Christmas. And put those aside into your toolbox. Some type of a vase for seasonal flowers, rosary beads so everybody can always find them and connect with each other and with yourself, with uh, everybody in the home and, and in the heavenly home. Uh, probably the only thing we're going to need to pur purchase is some form of uh, light here, the praying candle, and then select who's going to be their home patron. Here is what you need, including the toolbox. We'll see a couple other things here waiting for us in the toolbox of heaven door spirituality. Open your homes through this door to the blessings and celestial delight of heaven. Praise be Jesus Christ.